and welcome to Science in 5, WHO's Conversations in Science. I'm Vismita Gupta-Smith, and today we are talking about flu and COVID-19. Our expert today is Dr. Sylvie Brion. Sylvie is the director of WHO's Department of Global Infectious Hazard Preparedness. Welcome, Sylvie. Hello, Vismita. Sylvie, flu season is starting in many parts of the world now, so now people are worried about flu and COVID. How worried should people be? What are their risks? I think we shouldn't be worried. We should rather be prepared uh, because for flu, we do have vaccine, we do have antivirals and a set of measures that works for flu and can reduce the morbidity, I mean the disease and the mortality, the death linked to uh, influenza. So what is good news as well is that first, the measures that have been put in place for COVID, at least uh, the uh, individual measures such as uh, physical distancing, uh, washing hands, um, and um, avoid uh, close contact, uh, are working also for influenza viruses. And we have seen uh, in the Southern Hemisphere, uh, they had their flu season uh, recently, uh, that those measures worked very well and the transmission of influenza uh, was very low uh, during the uh, southern hemisphere influenza season. So we cannot be certain that this will be the case for the northern hemisphere in this fall and winter, but we can hope uh, for the best and, and, and hope really that uh, uh, influenza will be uh, mild uh, this year. That's really good advice. Don't be worried, be prepared. But first tell us, how would we know if we have flu or COVID-19? So uh, what is important for people to know is that um, uh, those two viruses uh, can infect in the, uh, the body and uh, can produce similar symptoms. What is important is that people, when they see a certain uh, severity sign, uh, that they uh, seek for uh, medical uh, advice. For instance, if they really feel uh, pain in the chest or difficulties to breathe, uh, then they need to uh, uh, ask for uh, medical advice. And especially people with underlying uh, uh, conditions such as uh, uh, cardiac disease or other uh, respiratory uh, chronic illness, uh, asthma, or people with diabetes. So those people should be uh, more uh, aware of the uh, sign of, of um, uh, severity and uh, so they can uh, ask for uh, advice and help in, in due time. And one thing is, is interesting also is uh, uh, we are still learning on, on COVID-19 disease, but we have seen that certain symptoms are um, especially uh, in young adults such as uh, the uh, change in or uh, loss of uh, smell or taste uh, could be a sign that is more specific to COVID-19. Sylvie, pregnant women are often advised care regarding flu and they're also more concerned about catching the flu. What is your advice to them regarding flu and COVID-19? So pregnant women, uh, indeed, because they have a change in their immunity uh, during pregnancy, uh, they are more at risk to develop a severe form of uh, influenza. And so uh, they need to be uh, particularly cautious during the influenza season to not to get infected. So avoid places that are very crowded, uh, put uh, even extra uh, um, measures in place such as washing hands very frequently and uh, wearing masks uh, in, in places that are crowded where they cannot uh, uh, physical distance. And basically it's the same uh, advice that we provide for COVID-19. So they just need to know that uh, they might uh, be more um, uh, at risk for severe influenza disease. And uh, in some countries they are offered the uh, flu vaccination. Uh, so they can also see if uh, this is uh, this applied to them and they need to ask their uh, physician or nurses uh, what they advise for them uh, during this particular period. Thank you, Sylvie. There you have it, Dr. Sylvie Brion's advice. Don't be worried, be prepared, take precautions to protect yourself from flu and COVID-19. That's all we have in Science in 5 today. Until next time then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stick with science. <laughs> <laughs>